about to take you on a journey to seven of Eastern Europe's underrated cities. And the best part? You'll get to explore secret spots and hidden treasures that most tourists never see. Hello, explorers! Welcome to another exciting adventure. When people think of Eastern Europe, certain cities pop up first. Places like Prague, Budapest, Warsaw, and Krakow are famous. But there's more to this region than just its popular cities. Hidden away are spots filled with fascinating history, rich traditions, and stunning natural beauty. They're the kind of places that don't always make it onto the typical tourist maps, but they're absolutely worth a visit. Here are the top 7 underrated cities in Eastern Europe. But remember, while these spots are some of the top places to explore in Eastern Europe, don't let this be the only guide you follow. Let's start with Number 1. Tokai Wine Region, Hungary In Eastern Hungary, the Tokai Wine Region is special because it was the first in the world to get special winemaking protection. Here, making wine follows strict rules, which inspired other famous wine places like Champagne in France. King Louis XV of France once said Tokai's famous wine was the best, calling it the king of wines. So if you love wine, Tokai is a great place to explore. It has beautiful rolling hills covered in vineyards, ancient cellars made of volcanic rock, and old castles that look like something out of a fairy tale. Tokai is especially known for its sweet wine, Imperial Tokai, which used to be made just for kings and queens. This wine is unique because it's made from grapes that have a special mold, giving it a one-of-a-kind taste. Number 2. Sibiu, Romania Sibiu, Romania is a charming city that's not as well-known as it should be. It's been celebrated as a hub for artists and has a rich medieval history. A visit to the central Piazza Mare is a must-do. It's a lively spot with cafes and restaurants where kids play around fountains. The city's unique feature is the watchful houses with attic windows that look like eyes watching over you. A short drive from Sibiu is the eerie Brand Castle, often linked to Dracula's legend, adding a touch of mystery to the area. Sibiu's hidden treasure is the Bridge of Lies. Despite the spooky name, it got its name from a misunderstanding between the German words for lying down and lies. But there's a fun tale that the bridge will fall if you tell a lie on it, adding to the city's playful spirit. Number 3. Masurian Lake District, Poland In northeastern Poland, the Masurian Lake District is a breathtaking area with over 2,000 lakes and rich forests, making it one of the most scenic spots in Eastern Europe. This hidden gem is not widely known among travelers but is recognized by UNESCO for its environmental significance. Start your visit with a leisurely boat ride down the Krutynia River, where a guide will tell you about Poland's unique plants and animals. Then have lunch in Mikolaiki, a charming town of Poland's biggest lake. A must-see in the Masurian Lake District is the Wolf's Lair. Hidden deep in the woods, this group of crumbling concrete bunkers was once Hitler's main base during World War II. Exploring this historical site offers a unique peek into the past amidst the natural beauty of the district. Next, we'll uncover the secrets like a castle linked to Dracula, mountains perfect for adventure, cities where old meets new, and roads that lead you through history. But before we go on, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting discoveries and hidden gems from around the world. Moving on to Number 4. Riga, Latvia Riga, the capital of Latvia, is a big hit with people who visit the Baltics. It's known for its beautiful buildings and is protected by UNESCO. The city has a mix of old Hanseatic buildings and Art Nouveau areas. When you walk around the central district, you'll see lots of buildings in the Art Nouveau style, about a third of them. It is also recommended to check out the Central Market, which is huge with over 3,000 stalls. It's set up inside old Zeppelin hangars and is the best indoor market in Europe. A special place in Riga is the Three Brothers. These are three colorful old houses built from the 15th to 17th century. They show you different styles of Riga's buildings through time. 
Number 5. High Tatras Mountains, Slovakia In Slovakia, the High Tatras Mountains are a sight to see, with sharp peaks that offer beautiful views and adventures for less money. Despite being the smallest alpine range in the world, they leave a big impression. Imagine hiking to a lake and then enjoying a big, tasty meal with a beer for less than 10 euros. The area is also home to unique architecture. You'll find castles, villages with brightly painted houses, and churches made entirely of wood. Don't miss the village of Zidiar for its colorful wooden houses or Kesmarok, where you can see a wooden church recognized by UNESCO, all set against the backdrop of the mountains. A special animal to look out for is a Tatra chamois. It's very rare with curved horns and a face with stripes, making it a fascinating find in this region. Number 6. Ljubljana, Slovenia Ljubljana in Slovenia is a small, lovely city praised by many travelers. Here, old charm meets new, green ways of living. Cars are few in the city center, so you can easily walk around. You can relax in green parks or enjoy sitting at cafes by the Ljubljanica River. A big highlight is Ljubljana Castle, with a long history of different uses and people living there. A special place in Ljubljana is Lolita, a bakery and cafe. It has tall ceilings and big windows that look out at the river. They make cakes that are so good you'll remember them long after your visit. Number 7. Sofia, Bulgaria Sofia, Bulgaria's capital, blends old and new uniquely. You can enjoy Greek-inspired Balkan food, see ancient Roman ruins, and even visit a modern ski resort, all in one city. It's known for being easy to walk around, making it simple to see its main attractions. In the city's heart, there's a special place where a mosque, synagogue, Catholic cathedral, and Orthodox church stand close to each other showing Sofia's diverse culture. An interesting spot in Sofia is Sar Osbobodytel Boulevard, famous for its yellow paving stones. Walking here feels like being in a fairy tale, similar to the yellow brick road from the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Sofia isn't just Bulgaria's capital, it's a place where history, culture, and fun activities come together, making it a great city to explore by foot and discover its hidden gems. That wraps up our journey through Eastern Europe's underrated cities. What's the most intriguing place we've mentioned that you'd love to visit? Share your thoughts in the comments. Now, did you know the Azores are a breathtaking archipelago where volcanic craters meet emerald lakes and the ocean's blue merges with lush green landscapes? Keep an eye out for our next video where we'll unveil the ultimate five-day itinerary for exploring the Azores' natural wonders. You definitely don't want to miss this. Thanks for watching.